Hi, everybody. It's France Foreign Fridays, January 1st, 2021. We made it. <laughs> Starting the new year off right, we are really socially distanced today because we're doing this by Zoom. And today we have the lovely Crystal Roy of Meadowbrook Home Renovations, and she specializes in bathroom renovations. So that's what we're going to talk to her about. And I believe here she is now. Let's give her a minute. This is how Zoom works. There she is. Hi, everyone. Hi, there you are. We can see you Hi. now. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Okay, everybody, I already introduced you. So again, this is Crystal Roy of Meadowbrook Renovations. We're talking to her today about bathroom renovations. So are you ready for your four questions? Yes. Okay, let's go. So first question. What's the first thing people should do when they decide to do a bathroom renovation? They should always have a rough idea or a rough plan of what they want to happen in the renovation. And you always just want to know what you're going to do. You okay, so, do. so plan. Yes. Planning is important. Okay, number two, going to that if they don't plan, <laughs> what is the biggest mistake people make when they do bathroom renovations? Most of the time, people don't often think 10, 20, maybe even 50 years down the line if they're going to still be living in the house or not. Um, most of the time, they do end up living in the house. And when they did the renovation, they were young and they weren't thinking about it. So the bathroom doesn't function for them as an elderly person now. So now they have to do a whole nother renovation. So it ends but up they, being... <laughs> it ends up being what? It ends up being costly at the end. Uh, uh, we don't want that. So think about what the bathroom is going to be like now in 10 years, or if you're going to resell because you never know. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. So next question is what should homeowners be asking somebody that they hire? They should always ask um, if they have any experience with the job that they need done. Um, they should always ask if they have any licenses with the work that they want done, because you always want to make sure that they have a license, that they have experience, that they know what they're doing, and that they have something to back them up. Okay. Yeah. I mean, because there is that show to catch a contractor, so we don't want somebody like that kind of situation. Um, I, like, I always tell my clients, get a reference and be able to call that reference. If somebody says they've done good work for somebody, you should be able to call them. Have you experienced that? Like, do you give out phone numbers of references for your your work? Um, I personally, if somebody asks for a reference, I will then contact my clients and I leave it up to the client if they want their phone number given out or not. And it's ultimately up to the client. I respect everyone's privacy. So, so as an own owner, do your research, know who you're hiring and know what you're hiring for. Yeah. Okay. Bonus question, just really curious. Um, what's trending in bathroom renovations right now? Um, a lot of tile work. A lot of people are, they, it's a lot of the shower surrounds that were put in the house or even just old, like the plaster walls with the really thick tiles, it's outdated. So they're putting in new tile work, new tile showers, yeah. Sorry, this is like the bonus question, but I'm really interested in this. Um, not everybody can afford to do a full renovation. And especially now where people are kind of stuck at home. If you could do one thing to your bathroom, what would be the best thing to do? A really simple way to update any room really is with paint or just changing out the fixtures. Like it could even just be changing out the tower rack or... Um, in some cases, like the vanity makes a huge difference. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go look at my bathroom very differently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. Thank you for joining us on Friday. We're going to tag Crystal. So if you have any questions, you can ask her in the comments. Hit the like button, share, you know the deal. Now, Crystal, usually I'd give you some jump swag right now, but we're socially distanced. So when lockdown's done, I'll get you a hat, okay? Thank you yeah. so much for showing up on the first day of the year. See you next week, guys. Bye.